Hey guys, what's up? This is and before we start a uh, continuation on our journey, we got an achievement. And I want to look through, like, here are some of the achievements, like that's for the DLC, um, blah 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 blah. These are ones I've already gotten. Uh, advanced level 60, advanced level 60. What did I get? Hmm. I'm not sure what I got. I might have gotten the Medigel one. No, I didn't. Oh, this must have been it. I must have gotten the Overlord Specialist because that's what we used. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Or the assault rifle kills. So that's how everyone gets trained. Huh. Did not know that. Huh. Well. You guys just saw what all the achievements? I'm not trying to get all the achievements. The only game I've gotten close to all the achievements are is, um, Mass Effect 3. Oh, so, I traveled down here, back to where we did the water thing. There is a door right here, and this is where we find the Alpha Varen. This is the cutscene I was expecting. This is technically where you first find Varen. Like, the let you like learn about them. The Alpha Varen is a lot bigger, I believe. There he is. Die. A Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. Must be an alpha male. The pack leader of these feral savages. Flush canister. Right. Now this is something that I had no idea. This is where you also get the power cells. I had no idea. I honestly have never did the power cells one. Because I can I never figured out how to get it. Don't need. Don't need. Uh, and overkill. All right, so now we have everything we need. So I'm going to do a quick cut back up to the top of Pharaohs. So I'll see you guys in a second. And we made it back up here. There's some people we can talk to. Thank you so much. Hmm. I thought I will do what I can to assist there the we colony. Go. I know some of these guys will talk to you like this. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. This is where you can also learn Farewell, some stuff. Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Thank you. I wish myself well too. Hey, asshole. All traces of the story. I never better. thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Yay. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What What's will you your do plan now? now? The fighting is over. I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see I what hope you so. have in stock. That'd be amazing. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. You got a lot more than before. Huh. Uh, that is a sniper rifle, assault rifle, some pistols. Not really anything I want. I do want to sell some stuff though. Like, I don't need these. I love these fives I don't need anymore. Uh, that's a piece of shit. 
Uh, so much stuff. Yeah, just gonna get rid of fives. There we go. So if we go in here, we have David. It, it doesn't hurt anymore. I can think my own thoughts again. Yay. And with company money coming in, there's no need to choke down Varen meat. Thanks for it. We owe you our lives. Yay. Varos will be back in shape in no time. You were at the skilly. Thanks, Commander. It's li I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. No problem. Oh, there's Gavin. Wait, I thought he returned to stuff. At least I thought I did. Thank you for everything. I'm free. Hmm. I can't believe I'm free. Um, my eye is like sticking together. Like you know when you wake up and then you have like the eye sticky, or whatever the stuff is, the sleepies. It's like in my eye. Gavin, what do you want? Strange. It shows that he's still a I thing. Huh. Where are you? There you are. Hi. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I Yay. found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Kick these power cells into place. I'll have this colony up and running in no time. Yay! We did it. We're done with Pharaohs. Thank you for freeing us. We're done with Pharaohs. There is some uh, side missions we will be doing for a little bit. Uh, these sa we need to go to the Mantro system in the Moon Sea cluster. And yeah, both of these are in the Maroon Sea cluster. Which should be fun. It's a new cluster. Uh, I'm trying to think too. There is something I need to do research on before we do it. So, th it will be a, an emotional process. Oh, the Normandy. We're so close to you. Huzzah. My ch my chest is like tight right now, <laughs> cause I'm so excited. Ah, uh, I love this. I love Mass Effect so much. Even though I keep complaining about Mass Effect One, I actually I like I enjoy Stand it, by, but sure not as much as the others. Decontamination in progress. Like I love seeing how this was the first game and it was very well done, except for like a few tidbits that honestly. Makes up maybe a, not even a not even a tenth of the Decontamination game. Decontamination in progress. Commander. Oh. You look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The uh. cipher shook me up a bit. Oh shit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Go Dude, ahead. Hurry. We don't have much time. And my hand will phase through my leg. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Ugh, the eye thing it just really grosses me out. I don't know. Just the black eye thing is just so gross in my opinion. Oh, Jesus. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. 
The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. So nothing was sure useful. Come across any kind of clue or hint, something we might have missed. Uh. Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. Shit. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Protean extinction, and the Conduit. We already knew but I that. Did not see anything that would help us find it. We already What's fucking knew move? that. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. Especially when you're in experience. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind. Drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious <laughs> instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I love how angry we sound sometimes. I've sent off the Ferris report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Fine. Patch it through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Uh. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. And you might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everybody. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Uh. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. I fucking hate the Turian Counselor. Every time, the Turian Counselor is a giant dickwad for no reason. We we should like talk to people. Um, nope, this way. We <laughs> I want to talk to Liara about this because I feel like something very important. I this is something I should have apologized for a long time ago. I like traveling throughout the ship and talking to people to see if things have changed. We got so much metagel from that. Hi, Liara. What are you gonna say? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yes. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's You're the best. Hand. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? <laughs> Shit, we already have. Go. Goodbye, Shepard. If someone, uh, like, just go, like, I just wanted to talk. Talk about what? I guess I should go. I would be so pissed. But that's, like, normal for this. Hi, Caden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Um, I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork yeah. will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for a year. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. Yeah. Remember that if you go after the runners. Ver Who the fuck is Vernus? Did I miss something? Hold up. Google. V Y R N N U S. Who the fuck is this?
Sorry, I'm really confused. Uh He was a Turian biotic. I think you carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before hmm. I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird. Superior and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been twenty six years since first contact. That's not a lot of time, you understand? But with True. Vernus, you made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Two points. Well, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. Uh, she reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Oh, shit. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, but something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Jesus! To help a girl you cared for. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions. Commander Vernus was a Turian biotic who fought the mercenary in the I first contact war. I killed huh. each other. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bob changed the shutdown. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that term. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Fair reasonable enough. Stance. Keep that level head and we'll be fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present uh, accepted, of course. Pretty much. Like, I honestly feel like I would go insane with shit like that going on. It's amazing some of the shit these guys go through. It's like, holy fuck, how are these guys alive? Especially Shepard. But some of the shit she's been through, the Skillion Blitz, the Bartarian Raid, all that. Uh, that took a little bit. Hello. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Why else would I be talking to you? Ursa 8. Uh... So, I'm gonna pause for a second and do some shopping, so just a moment. Alright, so I did some shopping. I had enough money to get all the Spectre uh, weapons. So I have the HMWSR 8, uh, 7, pistol, uh, assault rifle, shotgun. I also changed my armor to the Ursa 8 that we found. It was super powerful, and I also sold a lot of stuff. So. It pretty much cleared up our inventory. I also, uh, I also exchanged a lot of the inventory for everyone to make sure that I gave them the best stuff before I sold. Command, I wanted to thank you. Thank before, me. Garris. For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. Ah. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you told me about not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal, about finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salio, too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped yeah. under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Which Words is very, very bad. Until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training. I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people Good. I'm sworn to protect Good. can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. 
I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we Good meet job, Garius. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Huzzah! Right? Hi, Ashley. Commander. What's going on? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Right there. Okay. Ma'am. Screw you, Ashley. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. Uh, yep. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Uh, Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. <laughs> but I've had my share of adventures. Like what? Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. Oh, yay, politics. What an ass. <laughs> I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Of course. Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. Of course he, he wasn't. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. What the fuck? Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Ouch. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Huh. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. <laughs> we met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. Hmm. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. She was a merc? An Asari commando mercenary. That's unusual, isn't it? A little bit. I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> Anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. Then what? What'd you do? So what'd you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. Hmm. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way, we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Wow. <laughs> it always was a bit of a softy. What about what the fight? What's going station? on? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, I had to kill wow. a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone. Life support was failing, but I had her. Oh, shit. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. That's amazing! <laughs> I assume the Asari commando didn't make it. Uh... I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well... They deserve to God damn it, Zamar! At least for a bit longer. Uh, I just got a message. Yeah. Oh shit, what's going on? Alina Sorry about that. Alive, Apparently if I click Korea out, the voice did. stops. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he kept me on as his personal guard until he died natural causes huh easiest job I've ever had a little boring but credits, credits are credits credit. that's so actually kind of cool Shepherd. oh whoa uh I what is going on with my camera Uh, I don't know what's going on with the camera. I'm moving it very, very slightly. <laughs> oh, shit. 
What's going on? Alright, so we're gonna end the episode off here while I try to... Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. So, we're gonna end the episode off here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Poof! Bye!